Ambient light rejection value, something we've already covered a little bit here. That's the ability to separate environment light versus projected light. Environment light, the ambient light that we have in the room here, versus the projected light, the light that we want to see. Something like the daylight parallax that we were looking at, this has a lensing system in, inside of it. It has layers. It has layers that are parallel to the ceiling. These are the layers that are absorbing the, project, absorbing the ambient light in the room and not letting it come to us as an audience. And then there are layers that are just slightly angled back to us that are underneath of those parallel layers. So basically, think of it as something like this, happening thousands of times within that screen. And this side, it'll bring the projected light back to us. This side right here will reject the light. So it's an easy test that can be done in a lab environment where you basically do a full on, full off scenario and you're able to determine what the screen is doing. Daylight surfaces, ones that reject ambient light like parallax are 96% and above on that value, which means 96% of the unwanted light, the non-projected light in the room, the screen is either absorbing and just keeping it right there so you don't see it, or it's just rejecting it, reflecting it back up towards the ceiling or towards the walls, for example. So if you're in an environment like this where you have high ambient light and even this room, like we're seeing here, you might want to consider a surface that's more like this. This is the same image on both screens here. You can see this one we're able to see well, this one we're not because of that ambient light value being in the equation.